the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall embarked on the final leg of their tour of the South West on Wednesday. The pair visited an art gallery called the Burton in Biddeford, North Devon, to mark its 70th anniversary. Charles and Camilla observed an exhibition of archive photographs from the Biford Archive. The photographs, by local snapper James Revillius, depicted agricultural life in the 1960s and 1970s. They spent the morning at the art gallery before heading to a nearby pub in Idlesley where they met Sir Michael Morpurgo, author of War Horse, alongside Lady Morpurgo and Carol Hughes. The Devon pub played an important part in the creation of War Horse as the author found inspiration there many years ago. The royals were in high spirits and the Prince of Wales enjoyed a pint. Bringing their visit to the southwest to a close, the Duchess of Cornwall appeared sad to leave. What a lovely spot here. I wish I was staying here for longer, she said, according to Devon Live. The royal's three-day visit has been a busy one. On Monday, the pair started their tour in Exeter where they visited the city's cathedral and met with community groups. It was a fantastic visit and special in all sorts of ways, which was reflected by the hundreds of people who came, Bishop Robert wrote in a blog post on the cathedral's website but he was also interested in the local community groups, it was wonderful seeing him and Camilla talking to people like the Cathedral Stonemasons and Prince of Wales nursing cadets. He was also concerned to hear how we had fared in Devon during the pandemic and how young people are experiencing things because it has been so challenging. On their second day, the future monarch toured the Isles of Scilly and visited Five Islands Academy School.